The boa constrictor or red-tailed boa is a species of large heavy-bodied snake and it's found in North, Central, and South America as well as some islands in the Caribbean. This is one of the subspecies of Mexican boa constrictor. It's found from Mexico to Colombia, averages 6 to 8 feet in length which is roughly 2 plus meters. Although bigger specimens have been found up to 4 meters in length or 13 feet. Boa constrictors are known for their method of constricting or squeezing their prey, which usually consists of rodents and other small mammals to kill them before they swallow them whole. There used to be a misconception that snakes like this, boa constrictors, would apply a choke to suffocate their prey, but now we know that they actually apply a blood choke, much like mixed martial arts fighters do these days in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu and other submission art forms to deny people of circulation and eventually they'll lose consciousness. Oh, did he just eat a mouse? Yeah, he's trying. So you just heard some people talk in the background. I'll allow some dead time for their comments to come through. It's just more interesting. But both populations are threatened because of habitat loss and people taking them from the wild for the pet trade. It's a large snake, although it's only modestly sized in comparison to other large snakes such as the reticulated python and Burmese python. Burmese python is one of the news all the time that's escaped in the Florida Everglades and can reach, you know, six meters or longer. So if there's enough prey, they'll get very large, up to four meters. Uh, generally, they won't do that well, but the females are generally larger in both length and girth than the males. So the usual size of a mature female boa is between 2.1 to 3 meters. And um, what I just said before for the males, 1.8 to 2.4, you know, the 6 to 8 feet. So there you have it. In 2 to 3 minutes, this Mexican boa constrictor has swallowed an entire mouse. They flourish in a wide variety of environmental conditions from tropical rainforests to arid semi-desert country. However, it prefers to live in rainforest due to the humidity and temperature, the fact that there's natural cover from predators, and the fact that there's a vast amount of potential prey compared to semi-desert conditions. It's commonly found along rivers and streams, otherwise known as riparian zones in drier places like this. And now it's just flicking around its tongue like crazy to uh, sense any smells in the air around it which is, um, you know, kind of pointless because it's in a glass tank, but, you know, that's just what they do. Or maybe it's just some kind of reflex reaction after they're done eating. You know, it doesn't really need to look for more rodents because it just ate. See, it's a, it's a constrictor. They bite it, and then they wrap themselves around oh, and squeeze it until it dies. Or, oh, I know, I see this. Except... They probably throw dead ones in there. Oh, no. I don't know. They'll eat a dead one. They do that in a lot of zoos. They keep they? frozen mm -hmm. ones and they put them in. And if they're hungry, they they'll eat them. Oh. <laughs> I almost fell on top of you.